Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this uh, is a first in a series of videos on security. The first one that I'm doing is on Windows 7 because there will be an event in 2020 for Windows 7, the end of support. And the others will all be on Windows 10 and they will all have different um, security items that we're going to talk about. So I thought this week would be a good time to refresh ways to stay safe on your computer. So on Windows 7, of course, right now, Windows 7 still has security updates, and that's okay. means Windows 7 is pretty safe in general to use if you, of course, are careful with what you do. Now, in January of 2020, January 14th, there will be the last patch Tuesday for Windows 7. That means after January, you will not have security updates that will actually patch security flaws within the operating system. So you'll be vulnerable to attacks, to hacks, and uh, all sorts of security problems. But there's ways to mitigate this. So what if you continue using Windows 7 after January of 2020? I got to say, I don't recommend it. Personally, I think you need to move on to Windows 10. There's a time when we need to move on and have more advanced technologies. Windows 10 is proven to be more uh, secure than Windows 7 in general. And um, But, you know, a lot of you will probably want to keep Windows 7. It could be because your PC runs Windows 7, can't run Windows 10, and you'll be kind of stuck using it. It could be because of some software or hardware you need to keep. Um, here are a few pointers to stay safe with Windows 7 after the January 2020 date. First, of course, um, you're the number one security on your computer. That means you got to be careful what you do. You got to be careful not to download or click on anything, uh, you know, phishing attempts through emails or download weird files over the internet because that is going to be and that is for every version of Windows even when they're patched a security problem but when Windows 7 is going to be worse because they'll try to exploit security flaws that they already know exist within Windows 7 so be careful what you do that's the first rule second rule um, you might want to have some third-party antivirus now you might say, yeah, but Windows 7 is out of support. Yep, but if we look at Windows XP, when it actually retired, for a couple of years after, there were still updates from antivirus companies. So you might want to get, you know, instead of using the uh, Windows De Defender or Security Essentials app, um, you might want to use a third-party antivirus. There's free antiviruses and paid antiviruses. And of course, you might want to have one of those security um, software to add a layer of security. I always say it, antivirus software does not protect you really. Uh, what you do is more important. So, you know, that is mostly because unpatched, maybe it's not a bad idea to have a little something to just add a layer of security. So... One of the third-party antiviruses that will still probably be updated and work on Windows 7 for a while, depending on the market share. Make sure that you use Google Chrome or a web browser, Firefox, Opera, that still has updates, even with Windows 7 being retired. Once again, if we look at the Windows XP experience, um, browsers were updated for a while after Windows XP expired. That will happen also on Windows 7. Google will probably update Google Chrome for a while, Firefox also. I believe Firefox was the last browser that uh, was updated and had updates in XP. So, uh, you know, just use a third-party browser, the one that you want, that still has updates. That is a big mitigation because these browsers will try to um, secure yourself also by protecting what content you're going to see on the internet and trying not to let bad stuff go through. So these are some of the ways you're going to stay safe. And of course, if your PC running Windows 7 does not need to be on the internet, 
well you know what you can actually switch it off unplug that Ethernet cable or just disable the Wi-Fi and run Windows 7 without internet now if you run it without internet and don't really have you know don't plug in USB thumb drives and stuff like that Windows 7 becomes actually very secure because it its main way of being infected is by outside um, the outside world basically so either the internet or if you have USB thumb drives or external hard drives stuff like that so of course in a computer that does not need internet it just needs to do its job of whatever you want to do well that is another solution just let it run on its own without having the internet on it so these are a few tips and tricks and pointers be careful the USB thumb drives that you might want to plug on them uh, with Windows 7 if they come from a uh, another computer USB thumb drives external hard drives are one of the main vectors of getting infected with malware and uh, just be very careful with what you do but yes up to a certain point you can still continue using Windows 7 relatively secure uh, that's of course until they find some kind of really bad flaw that might happen and that is a possibility you know, everything is possible so uh, if you continue using Windows 7 abide by some of these rules and um, you should be okay for a while even though I do not recommend it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.